Hey, hey guys, welcome to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, guys, I am canning butter. Yes, canning butter. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've had the butter in the refrigerator and today is the day. So I'm taking you in my kitchen and welcome back. So here we are and this is what I'm using today, okay? This is from Walmart. It is the Great Value Sweet Cream Butter Unsalted. Now, you could use the salted if you like, but today, guys, I am using the unsalted. Now, I have everything out. Everything's ready, prepared. I've already been canning some butter. Um, I got my funnel there. I also use my measuring cup, and you can use a lateral, what do you call a lateral, uh, lateral spoon, you know, just a big spoon to dip your butter once it's processed, if you say processed, melted into your jars. But um, I like using the measuring cup. I did it earlier with the spoon and it was slower doing it. This is so much easier just taking the measuring cup and pouring it into the jars. I also got my vinegar here and paper towel. Um, I like, you got to wipe the top of your lid. So I like to use some vinegar and just wipe the top of my lids. Once I pour the butter into the jar, about an inch, half inch, you know, up to the lid, um, not top to the very top, but about a half inch, inch from the top. And, uh, and I take the vinegar and I just take wipe off my lid. No matter uh, what you're canning, you always want to wipe off the top of your lids. Now, I have a plate here because that's where my jar is going to go. And then I'm going to take the funnel and put it on top of the jar and then take the measuring cup and dip it in to the butter. Now, this is melted here, but you do have to stir it occasionally because you see the, uh, the, the cream, the oil, you know, all the ingredients are going to, they're going to separate. But you want to, especially before you put it into your jars, you want to... You want to stir it up real good because what it's going to do is mix those um, all these ingredients back together okay so what I like to do is I like to just you know give it a good stir the more I stir it the more I'll see this all coming back together and so I take maybe a couple minutes you know maybe two minutes and as you can tell as the more I stir the more this seems to be coming back together so you want to do that and uh, you also will have your lids ready, okay? So I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Um, you want to have your lids ready because uh, you're going to have a hot liquid, your butter. You're going to have hot lids, hot rings, and you're going to have hot jars. Now you want to go ahead and put your jars into the oven, set it at 220, and you're going to let, let, them, let them stay in there, actually, um, you will set your timer for 20 minutes. Now, this kills the germs. It sanitizes them. It gets them hot. And you're not going to take them all out at one time. It's, this is my grandma's cookie sheet that she used to uh, bake onto. And I've been baking onto it for, gosh, uh, you know, maybe 20 years or so. Um, longer than that. But anyways, uh, so it's, you can just put them in on a rack if you wanted to. But this is an uh, easy way to put them in there. And so I usually use this right here to take my jar out uh, you can use you know a mitten a oven mitten to get it out that'll be fine so hot jars hot liquid hot rings hot lids and uh, you're going to wipe your wipe your jar off once you fill it up and you're also going to have a place a designation of where you're going to be putting this these jars okay so here you see um, I got my place of designation. When you fill these jars up, when you go when you're over there and you're filling these jars up and you wipe your your lid off and you put your ring in, on in your lid, while you're walking over here, you're going to be shaking, right? This is going to get all those oils and cream, all that's going to mix it back up. And what you're going to do for about an hour, every five to ten minutes, you're going to come over here and you're going to shake them real good. This just mixes it back up. Mm. 
Okay, you're going to do that every five to ten minutes. And while they're sitting there, because it's hot lids, hot rings, hot jars, hot liquid, these are going to seal before you put them in the refrigerator. In about an hour, you know, shaking every five to ten minutes, you're going to take them to the refrigerator and you're going to set them in here for 30 minutes. And then you're going to do that process again. You're going to come in here and you're going to shake them. Give them a good shake. And they're going to stay in here no more than 30 minutes. Okay? You're not going to put them in here. You're not going to put the jars in here until the jars are cooled down enough to put them in the refrigerator. Okay? So those are about ready to come out. And then I'm just going to put them right over here with the rest of them. Now, these, this butter is going to be good for up to about three years. You want to make sure that you write on their butter, and you want to make sure that you kind of put the date on there, or not kind of, put the date on there so you'll know. So if you make some more, you can rotate it out. You know, the, the oldest um, product that you have made, you want to use it up first. Now, three years, so if, if we had a, um, you know, downfall onto the grid or, you know, lose power, or you had a hurricane, you can pull from your stash. You don't have to worry about the refrigerator. You've got butter, okay? Now, I will, I didn't have um, any more small jars. I would have put all these in smaller jars because that's pretty much the quantity. It's a good quantity. I had just actually got these jars right here, and so they're basically pints but it all works good i mean if you got your in your refrigerator when you open it up i mean you can you know you don't have to put it in the refrigerator because it is butter but um but yeah what i do i, I take and when i open it up i just kind of stick it in the refrigerator so um the old timers don't so here you see this is getting ready now what you want to do like i said you stir it and you want to get this hot you you don't want to get it bubbling you don't want to get it boiling, should I say, but you want to get it um, almost boiling, you know, and then you're going to give it, stir it thoroughly and give it a good stir. And then once again, guys, you're going to put it into your jars and you have butter. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything from this video, please subscribe, please share, give me a thumbs up on it. And if you have a comment, hey, I am teachable. I am ready to learn, always remaining teachable. So um, share some tips with me. All right. So remember, guys, uh, I use unsalted, but you can use salted. And remember, the Bible talks about that we need to be the salt of the world. We need to have flavor. We need to have love. We need to have joy. We need to have peace. Other people need to see Jesus in us. If we don't have that, then you know what? We don't have any, we don't have any flavor. So, anyways, God bless you. Should I say any flavor? We just, to the world, doesn't, um, we kind of look plain. You know, we don't want to look plain. We're peculiar people. All right, y'all. God bless you. And remember to make it a great day. This is Cammie, and welcome back to Never Alone Homestead.